Hi everyone, I'm here with Snuggles today, and I'm going to do what I think is a really important video today. Um, it's July 3rd, one day before the 4th of July. So a lot of people have um, dogs who are really scared or really nervous um, when there are fireworks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to counter condition Snuggles so that she overcomes that fear of fireworks. And here's how I'm going to do it. Right now, the sound of fireworks, uh, it scares her. And what I want to do is I want to make her think and associate that hey, whenever, whenever I hear a loud noise, it's, it's actually, it actually means really good things are going to come. So the way that I'm going to do that is every time that I hear a firework go off, I'm going to just, I don't even need to say good girl, I'm just going to give her a piece of steak. You want to use whatever treat your dog likes best. So um, if it's chicken, cheese, um, real meat that your dog likes, use those as treats. Since um, fireworks are really, really scary to most dogs, I would stick with whatever treat your dog likes best rather than just using the normal treats that you give them every day. So from that point on, um, I'm pretty much just going to be sitting here and waiting for our fireworks to go off. Yep, there you go. And your dog, you might... There you go. You might notice that Snuggle's behavior is actually, it's, she's pretty calm, even though the fireworks are going off. And I'll just tell you guys ahead of time, uh, we only spent one session before this training her or counter conditioning her to fireworks. But that was about two years ago. We, um, we used this method in 2014, but we haven't really counter conditioned her since then because um, obviously there aren't even fireworks going off. Um, after the 4th of July. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for our fireworks to go off, and then I'm just gonna reward. Now, unfortunately, the sound of the firework um, is kind of muffled over the camera, but um, in real life, what we're hearing now, the fireworks are actually much more louder in real life than it is what you guys hear on camera. There you go. So that was a loud one. Whenever there is a loud firework that goes off, I reward her. Yeah, that's, that's it. So whenever the fireworks go off, I keep on dispensing the treats. When the firework, um, when it stops, when the, when the noise stops, then I just stop dispensing the treats. What some of you might be thinking is, well, by rewarding her, while she's barking and while she's kind of agitated around the fireworks, aren't I reinforcing that kind of behavior? Aren't I reinforcing the barking and the grunting and the growling? But what you got to understand is, even though behaviors can be reinforced, emotions can't be reinforced. So her fear of fireworks isn't going to be reinforced by me rewarding her in the presence of a firework. But instead, what we're doing is we're changing her mindset. We're making her think that, hey, I can predict when uh, the treats are going to come. And the way she predicts that is whenever there's a loud noise because of the fireworks, that's when she gets a treat. So she, she actually likes, she, in the end, she likes the sound of the fireworks because it gives her, um, because that's what signals treats to come. So as you guys can see, there's nothing hard about this process. It's just, um, you gotta have a lot of patience, you gotta be consistent, and it just takes a lot of time. And some of you might think, well, that's a lot of work. Like, why do that at all? What, when I can just kind of, you know, put my dog away whenever I hear fireworks? Well, your dog is gonna be living with you for a while. So I think just spending maybe um, just a small amount of time the uh, counter conditioning them so that they learn that fireworks isn't a bad thing, that's going to really pay off um, in the future. So, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it doing this exercise. So, even though you guys hear those um, fireworks going off in the background, I'm only going to reward her if there's a really, really loud one. Like that one. Man, 
Yeah, that's a loud one. So I don't know if you guys can hear that um, through the camera really well, but that was a really loud one um, that we just heard. So that's why I rewarded it for that one. When you first start counter conditioning your dog's fireworks, you want to reward them. You want to give them a treat every time there's even um, even a small, like just a faint sound. You want to reward them for that. So they start associating these sounds with really positive, um, good things. So the point is, over time, she's going to think to herself, man, um, where's that sound? I really want that sound to come because when that sound goes off, I get a treat. So she's going to look forward to hearing the sound rather than being scared of it. So I know that a question... Oh, that was a loud one. There you go. I know a question that's going to come up is... If I use treats to kind of counter condition my dog to fireworks, isn't she going to be isn't she going to be dependent on the treats um, every year when there are fireworks? And the answer is no. I only use fireworks right now to try to associate that fireworks. I'm sorry, that made no sense. I'm only using treats right now to try to get her to associate that fireworks means good things. But after I change her emotional state and once she's over that fear. There's no more need for us to reward her with a treat. See, told you it's not scary. It's not scary, is it? We'll wait for another one. Look. Good girl. We'll wait for a loud one, okay? Alright. Put your head down. Head down. <laughs> Look at her, Tina. Remember, no bark, okay? No ghost, no bark. Good. Very good, Snugs. We're out of treats. So guys, um, even though we're out of treats, I want you guys to pay attention to her behavior. Even though there are fireworks still going off, her tail is wagging whenever she hears them. So, let's come here. Good. Remember, no bark, okay? Right? No bark. 